There's a backflip right there. I've never seen a backflip on a skateboard. I'm Matter Zaps, and I'm on a mission to explore skateboarding's outside edge. Hop in as we travel the globe, meeting skateboarding's mavericks to find out what skating means to them. Oh, it's the new dad. What's going on, people? Here we are in beautiful Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States of America, and we're gonna go pick up Beaver Fleming at the airport in a second. Together, we're gonna go to Woodward Skate Camp because Beaver is a Nitro Circus mega ramp athlete, and he's gonna help me jump the mega, I mean, the mini mega. It's gonna be fun. I can feel it. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Beaver Fleming. Discovered while finishing high school at Woodward U by motorsports legend Travis Pastrana, Beaver's take on professional skateboarding is pretty unique because he makes a living entertaining thousands as part of a traveling circus, the Nitro Circus. Dropping into the biggest, tallest, meanest, most life-threatening ramp you've ever seen and clearing a 20 meter gap only to be thrown well over 14 meters into the air. That's Beaver's gig. There you go, man, found a side deck, man. You guys, you skaters, yeah. Caballero, right? Wow, that's good amazing. Up, no, Thank man. you so much. Be safe, man, good stuff, good stuff, all right? Good luck, man. Thank you. Thank you. This goes up on my wall. Yeah! <laughs> One man's trash, another man's treasure. Thank you so much for this signed Steve Caballero deck. Now let's go to Travis Pastrana's house to skate his skate park. We're skating Travis Pastrana's house, and he's not here, he's in Europe himself, but... Just trying to get some more clips. Beaver's going wild. Beaver's going wild. I grew up in Knoxville, Tennessee, and what got me into skateboarding was my brother had the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 video game. Thought it was the most epic thing ever, and then I was like, man, I wonder if real skateboarding is as much fun, and my neighbor had a board and ended up letting me have the board, and I just took it out in the driveway and was hooked instantly and been basically skating ever since. I was probably like 10 or 11 years old at the time, and it's been crazy and just such a blessing that literally the same thing I would do as a kid, I'm actually getting paid for now and making a living riding my skateboard. So. It's really cool to see that happening and be able to live life and travel and do all these incredible things, all thanks to, you know, being able to ride a skateboard. Now we're in the car, ready to roll up to Woodward, where this guy's gonna be jumping the mega round. Hey, yikes. <laughs> Yeah, this is the original Woodward that started as a gymnastics camp, and then, you know, they had the idea to put some investing into action sports, so that's when they started building. I think they built three skate parks at first, and they were really, like, the first ones to bring out the foam pits and resi to really just take it to the next level. And then Woodward ended up building a mini mega ramp out here, 
And that was really the first kind of public one that you could go to and figure out. And so I thought it was gonna be much bigger. It's the Mini Mega. This is actually the first one I ever jumped back when I was 17. I would come here in the summers as a kid and... Uh -huh. Yeah, and then, and then once, you yeah. ended up inventing some tricks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you think you could show us some of them tomorrow or whenever we get on the ramp? Absolutely, yeah. And then it's kind of crazy because, like, one of the tricks I invented on the Nitro Circus ramp, which is similar to the Mega Ramp. It's um, twice the size of this one that's here. <laughs> twice the yeah. size of this one, but we can still make it work. But one of those is the finger flip back flip. Um, that's actually the trick I was doing in the foam pit that Travis saw and was like, whoa, dude, we need to have you in uh -huh. our show. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Damn, so he saw you at the at, at, at Woodward, uh -huh. and then he was like, man, I got to get this guy on, on the Nitro Circus traveling show. Yeah, exactly. And then it's been seven years that you've been doing it. Yeah, it's that's crazy amazing. to think, man. Time goes. kids here and this is the morning we're gonna do some warm-ups and then skate Usually skaters go out, skate streets, or skate skate parks, or birds. Mm -hmm. But you, you got like a, a, like a circus, right? It's like a traveling yeah. circus. Yeah, the Nitro Circus, I mean, it's a really cool way. It's like kind of cool because it's not like a contest. Like, you don't have to land your stuff, but you're traveling with a group of like the world's best action sports athletes and motocross, BMX, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And to be able to be the skateboarder there is really awesome and just cool to show skating in that aspect as I well. Know, and just man. get more people encouraged and inspired to skate and then be able to compete and do things like that is also a passion of mine too. So it's cool to kind of just be able to do it all, you know? I think it's kind of like my mindset on skateboarding. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You can skate however you want. Why did you just skate vert? Why just skate street? Like try and mix it all in there together. And same mm. with, you know, what I'm doing in my career. It's like, why just do a contest? Why not do a show? Why not do all these different things that there's so many mm. things that have been unexplored. And so it's like, you might as well go and figure out and make the most of it. Here we are at Woodward. Woodward Skate Camp. Doing an ice bath. I think at the end of the day, life's an amazing opportunity. Skateboarding's an amazing gift. And if we're able to get out of our own way with it, let the fear not hold us back, but actually use the fear to make us smarter and really control what we're doing. That's what I think is cool about fear. Like when you're in that moment, like you were on the mega ramp, you're not thinking about anything else. You're just thinking about you skating in that moment. And it kind of puts you into that flow state to where you're not thinking about other things, so your focus level's a lot higher. You should not be thinking about other things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But that's how it is in life. You know, we get carried away with all these different thoughts, multitasking, all this stuff. But if we can just be in that moment, I'm sure you feel it when you're street skating. Like, you're skating that much better when you're just on your board. I think it's just the mentality of using fear, not being used by fear. I'm coming, Beaver. My knees and I 
burnt the shoelace. But it's so much speed and I'm scared of the big burnt wall. I gotta breathe. There's a backflip right there. I've never seen a backflip on a skateboard. Tighten up my trucks a little more. And then do the 30. The classic one. Usually my first trick I do in the Nitro show, you take the board, smack it over your head. It's a good time. Here we go. Your mom. Both of my elbows have like third degree burns on them. Maybe first degree don't fall down. <laughs> All righty, let's see if we can get some wings out of this. What is skateboarding to you? Skateboarding to me is just freedom and joy. You know, I think skateboarding is so awesome and why I really fell in love with it was because there was one, no right or wrong way to do it, and two, you could do it however you wanted to and take it to whatever level you want. There's no one telling you, you have to do this, you have to do that. You can really take it to where you want to. And I always had that just kind of self-driven mentality of it, of like, all right, let's see what I can do on this skateboard. Like, this is the device I can use. What can I do with what I'm given? And it's kind of one of the things that taught me as well, um, just cause and effect. You know, if you do a trick right, you're rewarded by landing it. If you do a trick wrong, you know, you crash. And so it's like one of those things, it's like, Super cool, and I think it gives you so many life lessons, and it's awesome, too, that just the community it brings and just how powerful of a connector it is. No matter where you're at, and I'm sure you've found this with traveling, if you have your skateboard, instantly you see someone else that's a skater, there's a connection there that you couldn't, you can't really describe, but it's just so powerful how it connects, and I mean, like this as well, I mean, you're just a legendary street skater, and you just reached out to me because you love skateboarding as well, not just I love your skating. skateboarding. Yeah, which is amazing, and I love your skateboarding, and so there's that mutual respect that's there in the skate culture, too, that I think is really powerful, and um, I just love it, and especially being at a place here like Woodward, uh, I grew up coming here as a kid and just seeing the passion in kids' eyes. I think it's something that you can do with passion and it makes it that much better. So a circus life, constant danger up there on the mega ramp. Beaver is maybe the most hyped skater I've ever met. Hanging with him has been enlightening because he's not a typical skater and doesn't seem to want to be. He keeps doing his thing against the grain and found his space like that. What did I take from meeting him? That it takes courage to be your own person. All smiles from the guy with one of the most dangerous jobs in skating. Thank you, man. Thank you for watching the show. Click here to subscribe to the channel for more episodes, and you can watch them all on Red Bull TV right there.